So now the third step is we need to delete the, re the report itself and execute all these three functions together with one button. So I will treat everything again. So thanks. So we'll close the site act back again to the the graphics uh, builder. So here in the report, I just want to execute all these three functions. So I'll just rather than copy paste them, copy paste. So if we run this code without uh, the slave function, then if your computer is not fast enough, then the delete will be executed before the print. And in this case, you will find a pop-up uh, saying that there is no file. The file doesn't exist. So I'll make OK now, and we'll try this code. Here we'll issue the report as we see the report generation and printed delete. Um, here we, we have done a mistake. We didn't log in. So the exec function, which is responsible for the print, didn't execute. So we have to make the login. And then just click one report. You see the PDF, the RTF file generation and the print and the delete. So now we have a very clean report generation. So if you need to generate more reports, it's fine. So with the timestamp, you see. Yeah! So here, I just want to give you a better understanding for the target directory. So if we come here to the PDF creator and the profile, and we, we came to the target directory, and here we add like a same like the the one here we added like our commit in seconds so now the target directory is different because every time stamp now will have a different target directory so the pdf creator will save this file to another folder and another file as well. So let's see what we have here. So thanks, Cytect. Actually, if I create report, but first of all, we make admin. So actually, so as you see now, we'll create new folder. So every print will come in the new folder. As I explained earlier, you have to define uh, the fo folder format and the report format based on your requirements. So if you need days, so better to make the folder in months, so just to make a proper archiving. If you need hours, then the folders will be in days, so you make better archiving and uh, formatting. I will come here back again. I will remove this, what we have modified here. And uh, so we can print in the same directory. Okay, there is one line here. Okay, save. Oh. I will delete all of this and then we can try. As you see, the delete will come later. So now we have three reports, as you see. For me, it is very clean. And by the way, I forgot to mention some small things related to the, the side code. You can here, for example, mention the operator as a username. You just call the username of the site act rather than waiting for the signature of someone. So whenever this operator is logged in, so you know that this um, report is generated during the shift of this operator. And one more thing, rather than you see in, in the operation of the, the water treatment plant, you see the guys are using walkie-talkie just to transfer the values once they have a central SCADA only and there is no SCADA or HMI in the, the RO building or filtration building. So you can simply, the operator, while he's setting, he can trigger the report 
he can trigger the report through one button and then send it through WhatsApp rather than they keep using the walkie-talkie to communicate the, the readings and the things. And uh, this is uh, simply why I am using the report uh, button here inside the SCADA. But for the normal uh, procedure, we need to print this report in event pace. That means based on a certain uh, time, like every 24 hours or every one hour. In this case, we will define this one in event section rather than uh, the bottom. So, but before we, we jump in, I just, we like this code, right? So I will copy this code and I will create scikit function with this code. So we will call it one time rather than we list all these functions. So back to the scikit editor, I will launch the scikit and simply, you know, I, I have done it before. So I'll just simply paste the code here and I call it now the printer report function. So this is now these lines of codes are defined in printer report function. So rather than calling all of these, I will just simply save and Back here, I'll just generate one more button. Rather than all of these, I'm just, it will do the same things. Save, run, just for testing. I like to delete. Sorry. This one is used. So, don't forget the login. And here is the report. As you see, simple function will trigger everything. So now I will close Scitect. Delete everything. So back to the configuration. So during this phase, we learn how to make step-by-step uh, -step the reports and how to generate it. Now in, in, in the real situ situations, as we said, we need to create event. So it will trigger this report continuously in the background. So back here to the events, and I will define event. I will call it event 001, and the cluster name is this. And here, as we said, we will use the time and period. For example, now it is 11 p.m., so I'll, I'll choose the execution to be like 11.25, which is, it's okay, 23.25. And zero zero. So, and just like for the testing, I I will make the execution every ten seconds. So we have execution from this time, the synchronization time. We have execution cyclic every ten seconds. So what is the action of this event? We didn't define anything yet. So here I will just but my scikit functions, which we create, which is representing the, all the functions we discussed earlier. So save and let us execute and see what we have. Oh, I forgot something. I'm sorry for, for that. I'm sorry for that. So back again, we have to run the the computer, the, sorry, you have to run the setup wizard and enable the event inside this computer. So, so the event is enabled, okay, because I enabled it before. So next, 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 finish, run. Mm -hmm. So here is, I will make the, the login of, so not just my mistake. So 
So we make the event and now we will wait every 10 seconds. There is an execution for the report. So as we said, we define a folder. So all the reports will go inside this folder. As you. So every 10 seconds we have a report. If you change, so now I will make it 90.5, 300, 25 and 70.5. So this one will we will have it in the next execution. So 75 these variables and, and again we mentioned and this communication error. And this is basically my workflow in generating the report inside Scitec. If you feel that such videos and tutorials is having added value, then please hit the thumbs up. And if you find it not having any added value, then you just dislike. So I would understand that either we continue in this or not. Thanks for watching and have a nice evening. And just remember, if you have any questions, please go to my LinkedIn page and drop your questions and we'll be replying to these questions. I'm always replying through the chat, but if something um, needs further more time, so we'll make videos, so we'll have added value for each and everyone. Again, if you have some better ideas for executing the reports, then feel free to reach out to me or just mention in the comments so we can share and learn together. Have a nice evening.